Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading and Lenormand 1 for December uh, 10th to 16th 2018. Now uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you that this is just a general reading for Virgo star sign and uh, it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards. They are synergy in the spread, but at the end it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, just like I'm doing here with the examples uh, given in this video, uh, then that is going to be a subject of personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. <clears throat> and there you can find a, a full list of my services, as well as their pricing. And um, I, for the duration of December, the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes personal reading with me are reduced <clears throat> with a certain percentage so yeah you can definitely take advantage of that so what we do have here is uh, the, are the main cards of the tarot spread we are going to use a enhanced tarot spread which means that we are going to uh, draw additional cards for the position but these are the main cards so the first one which is the queen of cups here that will be the topic of your week and on its own this card it is very passive one so uh, that particular week of yours Virgo is going to involve um, a lot of being standstill and mainly, uh, how can I place it, mainly uh, doing your ordinary routines and your ordinary, uh, how can I place it, taking on your ordinary responsibilities. I mean uh, the very topic itself, it does point that it's not going to have much of an exciting things happening around you in either um, in either side of the scales nor you know a very thrilling nor very despondent as well let me draw one more card with it so that is going to be the strength card and here we are seeing um the point of uh, how can I place it? The point of uh, it's not an aggravation, but let's say the point of where you may have a change of heart and you may want to uh, kind of like let's say provoke <clears throat> a, uh, events that are going to uh, make your routine slightly more different, but that is not going to be ultimately uh, the case here. So what these couple of cards are uh, suggesting and what the topic is going to be is for you to have a, a patience because the um, the exciting and the thrilling times are yet to come and they are going to be founded on the current week now from December 10 to December 16 and uh, while you are spending time within that week it will be very positive for yourself to just indulge, uh, indulge with your emotions, dive deep within them and uh, basically analyze how you feel for a certain things, how you feel for your relationship, you know, how you feel for your uh, career as well. Now we do have all of the passive cards, you know, the chariot card is also a passive card as it is a water element and the water elements are passive elements. Uh, <clears throat> then it is another watery card and then another watery card. So we do talk about uh, this, uh, the subject of that week definitely is going to be on an emotion state and all these cards are pointing that your emotional state is going to stabilize in a very severe way and that stabilization is going to be founded here we are going to go there in a minute with the chariot card but what will be the topic is really to cultivate your positive emotions if I may express myself that way and to maintain a, a positive attitude for that uh, you know even though now uh, you don't have many interesting thing things to do so at least you know there are no a uh, things which can prove themselves very bad for you and for your environment and therefore uh, you are to be kind of like patient as I said to wait enough so the you know the 
the new enterprises kind of emerge because there are there are always new enterprises it is just a, a matter of time but they will not going to emerge as i said throughout this uh, particular week and here the strength card suggests uh, that uh, you may have much more temp uh, uh, boosted temper within yourself not having you know amusements uh, around yourself in the same time as these couple of cards does not compete very well or, or are not very much compatible with one another but in the same time the strength has a um, hidden value if I may express myself that way that you should persevere through patience that is very important and even if you're not feeling satisfied enough that doesn't that should not obstruct you again to indulge yourself with your emotions and to spend that week in a very peaceful and quiet manner because this is what the topic of the week is all about the chariot card which is why you are um, sitting on that specific point here with uh, addition to the uh, nine of cups it does look like uh, these couple of cards are pointing that a certain um, I could say a, a preparation or a, a recent approach an initiation that you have taken is uh, it, it gave you basically the results that you are uh, that you have required and uh, at that specific points that you already have the results that you are chasing now it's time, as I said, emotionally to indulge yourself with them, and maybe you are not get you are not used to not having many things to do from now. Um in general many things to do around yourself. Uh, I want to support myself with example because it's obviously it is difficult for me to express myself. Uh so <clears throat> I will give an example with myself, although I am not Virgo. So uh, let's say that I had a goal of the uh, for the year, and now I am uh, I had achieved that goal, and I have no other goal in front of myself for the time being. So I don't have much things to do uh, left to do around myself, rather than slack around and be lazy. And for some people, being lazy it is very difficult. They basically people. Um, I, I know such people that they always want to have something to do. Well, that is not going to be the case with you, Virgo. I mean, you have um, achieved a, a certain, here with these cards, you have achieved a, a, a certain point or a certain fulcrum of yours, you know, or a goal here with the, uh, with the chariot and the nine of cups. And now, it's, uh, and now that week is going to be a week of, if you want to look at it that way, of waiting. Of waiting where you will not have much things to do and again for some that could be a really aggravating point as that is displayed here with the strength card but in the same time it doesn't mean that you are in a bad spot just on the contrary if you have the ability again to indulge yourself emotionally with that victory of yours no matter how small it could be for some uh, you are to find yourself very much emotionally satisfied and as I said uh, that you may find that this is a, a victory not as big as you thought is going to be even though it's very small for some that is displayed here with the eight of cups tarot card which is pointing to the challenges that are to prove themselves predicament for you now i want to draw one more card and that is going to be another watery card here which is the page of cups and uh, these cards are pointing <clears throat> here that while you are waiting and while you are uh, adopting a, a standpoint of doing nothing because this is what the universe is going to present you with all right you all may find it very difficult to imagine for yourself that there will be a, an improvement moving on forward it is basically you may uh, be left with the impression you may be biased you could be, excuse me, biased about the um, the culmination of either your relationship or either your uh, career path at that specific stage. That this is the maximum that you can achieve, uh, that you can achieve for the time being. <clears throat> and uh, that is in reality not true. And here we are seeing why you are put on halt 
throughout that specific week and it is because first these cards are pointing that the situation your achievement or you name it you know it can become even better but it does require some different approach it does require uh, you to uh, abandon a certain positions and to adopt a, a new positions and this is why you will have to hear um indulge yourself emotionally with the positions you have with your relationship uh, you know your friendships and etc etc so you can uh, you can basically how can i place it you can basically place yourself in peace with the new positions that you need to adopt your new standpoints that you uh, have to stand at and uh, that's why it's going to be at the first look here it's going to be difficult for you um <clears throat> virgos to really see that there is there is more than 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 where you are finding yourself right now example uh you have finally you know been capable to date with the person you really wanted right and now throughout that week that is your achievement here okay and you are feeling very happy about it and you want to rush it even more you want to jump into even deeper relationship but the time is not right at that specific point so instead of rushing it you know you got to be patient you need to persevere through patience here and indulge yourself emotionally to to analyze do you really love that guy or a girl you know or are they not just a mere um, achievement that you are going to lose an interest in further into the future? So that there are an emotional questions that you need to answer to yourself. How much you love a specific thing or a person and how much you are willing to invest into it so you can develop it even further and to do so again you will have to kind of like take a, a different standpoint that you are taking right now obtaining a different positions and in generally uh, being clamorous about that the change is going to uh, come eventually because the page of cups here as a circumstantial card to the eight of cups literally can be translated that even though the situation now is misfortunate a, a change is looming on the horizon but that change is a, a distance one and you need to have here the patience to persevere so the change could come around and under distant one I mean that is not going to happen this week all right but it may happen in the next week that it is coming 16th to 22nd of December and the last card that we do have this is for you the guidance Virgo that it is uh, that the tsar is offering for you and we have the high priest this another stationary card where the answers you need you seek uh, you know are is something worth it or not uh, or should you invest into a specific thing or not what kind of your positions here you need to adopt how long you know you have to wait etc etc can be found only within yourself and you can reach to those answers by just listening your inner voice and that's that kind of sound very um how can i say it mm very figuratively spoken but let me explain you so i uh, no one again no one can give you the answers you seek but only when you um when you when you analyze your emotions that will be the only way how you're going to uh, define are you loving that person are you loving this activity or or are they just you know something that you just yearn for but you don't have an emotional connection to them because people often mistake mistake passion for love there are two different things or you know or attraction for love it's there are two different things uh, i have um, watched recently a, a document uh, documentary movie on that and actually when you are attracted to someone your right side of the brain is activated when you love someone your left side of the brain is activated it is very different so this is the thing you need to discern whatever you have accomplished here in the previous week or a couple of weeks ago and now you have uh, the the blessing to indulge yourself with is this a, a pure attraction that you are going to lose interest soon after or is this something that you really love and the only thing you can do so again is diving deeper in your emotional state so you can find it now of course with the high priestess 
here uh, that that process of defining your emotional state is going to take some withdrawal so you have to again uh, withdraw yourself from that specific dating or relationship or etc just so you can see do you miss that person or the absence of that person is irrelevant or do you find yourself poignant if you are not contributing into that activity that you are finding so amusing and etc etc that is very very important again the sense of that you miss something or is the sense of that you have lost something it is exactly the thing that is going to give you the answers of how important that achievement of yours is and the accompanied card with the uh, high priestess here it is the queen of pentacles which which um, I literally points that uh, you need to be very careful right with uh, as you find your answers you need to be very careful uh, how you are going to proceed forward for us because the queen of pentacles here as a circumstantial card to the high priestess it does says that this is going to be a change of perspective it's going to be a change of uh, of understanding and of perception as well so uh, it is likely that you are to find a new meaning of love, a new meaning of excitement, you know, or to reshuffle your criteria of what, what thing one thing means for you, all right? For example, yesterday you may have thought that certain activity is everything for you, and as soon as you indulge yourself with your uh, in your emotions, you may find out that mm, not really. You know, there are people, for example, who think that money are everything. There are people who think that love is everything. And there are people who, like me who think that freedom is everything. And uh, here throughout that week, Virgos, you are going to find a, a new virtue of yours. Right? As long as you are have that um, attitude to indulge yourself with the emotional state of your recent achievements. So that being said, this was uh, the uh, tarot reading for you guys. And now let me uh, shuffle the Lenormand cards. And let's see what they uh, have to say for you. Now, what the Lenormands are to show us uh, is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the, the mountain. The mountain is... Um, the mountain is associated with delays, is associated with different routes, and it is associated with difficulties in general. The mice are associated with problems. This is the only association that they do have. And the last one that is going to be the scythe, which is associated with harvest, and it is associated with a, um, a cutting, the next card. So I will need the next card, which is the uh, sun, and the sun is associated with great amounts of luck and with uh, a great amount of success as well so what we do have i uh, these are these couple of cards are strengthening one another pointing a, a big delays or a big difficulties that are coming from within again you have to explore from within emotionally what is going on so these delays are most likely caused by you just so you find yourself sure that you really want what it is materializing for you throughout that uh, week or what can be materialized based on your current achievements here and adopting different standpoints and that unfortunately is going to kind of like sap some um some success that you may achieve throughout that week but some success it is nothing compared to the stable approach and the steady progress that you can have in the weeks that comes forth of course you may not cause delays you may jump into it straight away prematurely you know without disregarding uh, your emotional um, stability you know, and basically you are to play the wild card. How it's going to turn out, I cannot say. Really, if you uh, if you go by that road, by jumping into it prematurely, because this reading is all about waiting it out, just so you can find yourself emotionally stable. 
and uh, through it again reassessing your positions and being more prone to the bigger picture finding the answers and etc etc uh, and uh, basically if that's the reading that that means that you are to be much more beneficial if you stick down that road so that being said guys uh, this was your um, weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16 2018 I hope you are uh, you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore in this video I did my best to explain Explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing we're all signing out now see you next time bye